was in the middle of the studio here with Katie and the team, and we are doing a shoot for two new to cheek shades, and I love to give you a heads up first. So, um, the two new shades I'm going to show you first, and one I'm going to wear with this outfit, which is BB. And Shasha, who has a bigger wardrobe than me, has provided today tonal outfits. We're going tonal, aren't we? And we're going to do very distinct tonal because we're going to take Katinka, which we put on Trinidad yesterday on, who was it on yesterday, that lovely uh, Salwa. Salwa. And we're going to do a bit of Empress and do an eye with that. And then we're going to use the new BB and a few yes. other things. So here to take your questions and just generally say good morning. Um, and also, I want to give a shout out because Trini, like, do start, Katie, because this is a colour for me. A lot of people suit nude shades, and I love, we've been really lacking a nude in lip to cheek, and so now you're going to get two. But I think sometimes it's difficult if you're doing new clothing, so for, I don't naturally suit quite nudie, terracotta clothing. Mm -hmm. So we're trying a new look today, which is to wear the clothing and <coughs> do makeup, and it all is tonal. So it's, <laughs> so it's your challenge that I don't look like a cup of cold soup. <laughs> no, but you know, it's like, I love to challenge the makeup that we try yeah. and see how we can do things. Can, yeah, I, yeah. can you just ask if we are on Trini London or Trini Wood? I have a suspicion we are on Trini London. We are on Trini oh London. We're in Trini London. Mm -hmm. That's exciting we're on Trini London. <laughs> because, you know, it's all about Trini London stuff today. Um, and we have questions in case you want me to. Okay, we can do questions, definitely. Yes, do questions. Uh, so Lucy's asking best nude lip that gives a beige finish more than a pink finish? Beige more than pink? I'd say Tashi is slightly apricot beige, depending on the skin tone. Um, Suze is very blue, and Eugenie sits a little bit in the middle. Yeah. Um, but I would say one of our new lip to cheeks might fulfill that purpose. They're coming out on the 15th <laughs> next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Next yeah. Tuesday. And we might do pre-order on Friday, just to let you know. So this is that heads up. Very exciting. But if you want to do any colour swatching or ask any questions on Trini London products, I think that. When I do different looks with all of you guys, mm -hmm. I quite like to see what I'm wearing and then decide what my makeup should be, but still keep it in my match to me palette. And the reason we do match to me is so that you can really, you know, sometimes too much choice is, is quite tricky mm -hmm. and really overwhelming. And I want to also, we're going to try something new on the side, but I want to ask you ladies how you feel about this. First of all, how many of you? haven't yet bought online because for some reason or another you find it tricky and why? Love to have that feedback. Um, and we're going to try some testing where when you do your match to me, instead of getting the face, lips, cheeks and eyes, we're going to take you straight to stacks and then you'll see a little stack and you can choose, do I want to do a starter stack? That's an incredibly popular stack for New Year. Many starter stacks are selling because I think people think it's a way for me to get into the brand and they can then buy the basics. Um, so if you go and do your match me and then go straight to stacks, you just see refined choices to get a look. And another way, obviously, is the Trini Tribe. We have Trini Tribe uh, Northwest that just joined the Instagram. Can I just say, Trini Tribe Northwest, I was on, I was on um, Facebook yesterday and I go on the Trini Tribe Facebook a bit. I have to remember my login code. But the amount of and it is Trini Tribe Northwest. So I was doing, was I doing it with you yesterday? Uh, um, no. No, you were doing No, no, Maddie yeah, yesterday, Maddie but the day yesterday. before you. Yeah, but I was showing a bag that we haven't brought out yet. They took a picture of the bag, they put it on. Yeah, they screenshot the bag, and I think it was you. And um, then <laughs> other new up? colors. <laughs> and then they said, oh, when I see that there's an under eye concealer coming out, because I mentioned it for three seconds. So, all right, should we show them very quickly? The under eye concealer and orange. So yeah. This is like so sneak previews. Ooh. But um, it's a long time coming. I'm not going to tell you the name yet. But for those ladies who really suffer from an under eye and also want something that's going to really help their eyes and have very good ingredients to help their eyes, this is the product coming out in February if it's going on now. I can't say any more than that. It's a sneak preview moment, <laughs> ladies. But it is transformative feels fabulous, does good things. You can literally wear it when you're sleeping. It goes on really nicely as well. Yeah. 
goes on quickly. You're doing it with, it's a little bit more liquid and there's definitely, and I want to start to talk about this, that when we bring out a new product, it's really important it fits in a pot. Yeah. And because we want that portability for everybody. So with this product, it's a little bit more liquid than our other products. So it comes with a, a sheet, shy, which means it's like that little white plastic thing that goes on top and that might get stuck in the lid a bit, so you've got to slam it down. There's various issues. But the alternative was to put it in a tube and then it wouldn't fit on your stack, so we decided that we are going to fill it in the pot. And I just want you to be aware of that, ladies. And it's such a lovely, fantastic product that it just deserves to go in a pot and go on your stack so you can take it out with you through the day. Meanwhile, we have a few comments that are feedback from what you asked yes, earlier. Yes. So Claire is saying, no problem buying online. So easy with tutorials, Trini Tribe and Mesh to me is great. Never bought online before, only Trini. Okay. Then uh, another lady is saying she bought her first stack in December, love it. But she's not sure about her skin color. Uh, she thinks she's olive. And she bought Wisdom that was quite light on her. Yeah, Wisdom is, um, Wisdom should be a neutral shade for your eye up to um, a dark olive. And then after that, you could go on to washes of face and different shades. But I think that getting the right match to me, some people go straight into buying into skin and other people just buy color. But what's interesting to know is if you go to the light medium section, which has in it rosy olive, olive, light tan, um, they all actually wear Trintron, even though they're categorized differently, because it's about how we choose to describe our skin. It's like a woman who is a darkest olive, and is Mediterranean, might have the same skin tone as lightest caramel, which might be a woman who is half African and half white, and has the exact same skin tone. But just because of our ethnicity, we choose to describe our skin in different ways. So it's very interesting if you don't know which one you are, at the end of the videos, it says what foundation shade they wear. And if you think, I can't decide between the two, you might think actually they both wear the same skin shade, so you're gonna be okay. So that's a little trick on match to me. We do occasionally as well send out samples. So if you really think I really need help here, you can approach customer service and they will put a little bit in a pot for you so that you can try it. Amazing. So the Lizzo Life is saying, Morning Trini, your outfit yesterday was great. Can't wait to hear about the eyelash product you are bringing out. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> well, I can't wait for that too, but that is a few months away, so I can't sort of stop, start talking about it yet. Yeah. And then Misa is saying, what does the run, when, when does the uh, under eye concealer go live for pre-order? Miss the date. Um, 14th, of, oh, the under eye concealer is 17th of February, so it's a while away yet. So, uh, if you've just joined us, Katie and I here are putting on a new lip to cheek, which is coming out next week. It's two shades, there's BB, which is named after one of our original team members called Victoria. Long dark hair, Greek girl, and she's left the business, we love her dearly, and we named the product after her. And the other one is called Lady J, which is a slightly more poopier nude, and that's named after Jane, who is the first woman to really believe in our business, and we wanted to kind of honor her for that. Claire is asking, where best to apply highlighter around brows, eyes, or cheeks? We could do some highlighter now. Yeah, show you. Um, I generally use um, Starlight, which is the lighter highlighter shade. There's Starlight and Sunlight. And Trintron, which is my foundation shade, sits on the cusp. So I do use Sunlight for my eyes. When I'm a bit tanned, I use it. But we all use highlight differently, and how you did it on me on Monday, I loved. So I think, yeah, I, I like, just think, on I this like, look, what would you do? I like a, um, I was thinking of sunlight. Sunlight? Actually, yeah. sun, sunlight on the cheek. I'm yeah. Like, okay, okay why don't you just, you know, I mean, So you like, can see the difference as well. The thing is, many people buy yeah. things, <laughs> because you can mix them together and get a shade, and I think the joy of cream-based products is, everyone can be there, there, their alchemist in their bathroom and I think for you I'd, I'd usually choose starlight yeah because it highlights more I think sunlight will give you more of a sort of golden exactly like in the summer I use it exactly yeah. can we see the difference yeah, so you yeah. see the difference of the two mm, so, so bit. yeah can you do a little swatch yeah of course yeah. So I do it on my yeah, you've got, you've got right there. so, so that is hand, this so this is one is sunlight, sunlight. so this mm -hmm. is the more golden color yeah 
and up here. Matches with your nails. <laughs> I know, my Christmassy nails. And that's, that's starlight. starlight. So yeah, you can, you can see, see the difference. So I can wear sunlight when you look at it like that, but if you did it on a paler... Yeah, so if you did it on me. Yeah. So sunlight on me would just sit quite warm. You can mm. really see it, whereas um, starlight... Absorbs into your skin. Yeah, oh. and it just, oh. it it just gives you a little glow. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And it depends what you're looking for in a highlighter. People who are really seasoned highlighter wearers do sometimes like the visibility of a highlighter. But I think it's beautiful that you see that light when it moves. It's not really strange. Go with the warm, um, the coral in VB. I'm using sun, yeah, the, the warm colour, sunlight, it's on the, the cheekbones. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. But around the eyes, just to pick out like, the lightness in your yeah, eyes, I'm going to use starlight. But it's like starlight. It's just me being creative. You can have me being <laughs> Some people do like to have a primer right. underneath. So if you have a really oily eyelid, um, we do use base finish on some people. But I generally go straight into that. Jacket. Jacket. Sorry. So do you moisturize before putting foundation on? Lucy asking. I do because I have quite dry skin. So this morning I put on, I cleansed. I put on um, Dr. Lance's Radiant C, which I'm trying out. Then I did. Um, colostrum cream from Biologic Recharge, and then I did Beautifies moisturizer from their Japan infusion range. So that's what's been put on before I put on the BFF. Perfect. Andrea just joined. Said, "Where are you? What are you doing?" Because they can see what's going so on at the back. <laughs> Andrea, hello. We are doing a shoot for two new shades of lip to cheek, VB and Lady J. Um, Oh, they are asking for the swatches of these two shades, oh, if we yes, can. we can do the swatches. We swatch. We can swatch. Just because you happen to be watching today. <laughs> Lucky day. day. <laughs> so, okay. so, so, let's see the difference so between just, the two. Let's just, take that off. let's just make a glow underneath. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Um, this one is BB. No, this is not. I'm lying to you. This one is Lady J. Mm -hmm, beautiful. It's exactly the same colour as the jacket yeah. from here. Yeah. yeah. And this is what Trini's got on her cheeks now. This one's VB. So VB oh. is slightly more apricotty, terracotta based. And Lady J yeah, yeah, you is can softer, see. Yeah. rosa, rosy based. Beautiful. Yeah, you can both see. That's how they're looking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Next Tuesday, ladies. Ooh. A week away. A week away. <laughs> Only a week away, that's great. Okay. Then we have... Um, can you use Vintner's Daughter if you have rosacea? You have to be aware that this daughter has like 65 active ingredients. It's the most active facial oil that you can get. So I would say be aware when you have rosacea, because rosacea is very easily challenged by inflammation of products that, you know, have quite active in them. So you've got to try it. I love it as a facial oil. One of my favorite facial oils, but you have to be careful. Yeah. Uh, and then Andrea still is asking why the names always have a story behind them. Because I think that I've got many women in my life who've had a, been a big influence in my life, and it is my brand, and I feel the importance that it's not just a name we pick out of a hat. Um, Shasha too, who's phenomenal around eyes and loves tarot cards, she named the eyes with all different tarot cards so that has a different theme to it but the principles of the categories are as follows so lip glows are named after lila this is lila hi lila hi lila and her friends and she's got two friends who aren't in there yet so she keeps saying when is that shade coming out because it's got to be that friend um the lip luxes are named after some very very old friends of mine and they are Suze for Susanna, they are Tashi for Tashi Drax who's a really old friend of mine and her daughter and I were really old friends. They are Eugenie who's a woman who I've known for many years and has been very supportive to me in many ways. Um, there's Pookie who's my niece who's uh, the, that bright organvillea colour Demon is named after a lady called Amanda Eliash who always wears a bright red lip and is the most fabulous, eccentric, wonderful woman um, and has been a friend of mine for about 30 years. And Swainy is named after Annie Swain who was the stylist on What Not To Wear and our books and everything and Susanna and I worked with her, Michelle too, um, for 20 years. So that's Lip Luxes. 
Lip to Cheeks are good friends of mine as well. Pia is a friend I've known for 35 years. Um, and she's got lovely olive skin, green eyes and dark brown hair. So she really suits that pinkness of Pia because we try to also make them work for their shades. Um, Shasha is obviously named after Shasha. Um, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, Chloe is named after Chloe. Oh, Hello. <laughs> munchkin is just a name that Shasha and I use for a lot of women who they're, they're such a munchkin and there's a specific one we had in mind. Freddie is named after Federica and that's the lipped cheek. Um, literally lip light. Um, we've got Glinda, which is the Wicked Witch, and it's just a funny thing with Shasha and I, and Cecily, which is actually pronounced Cicely, which is Shasha's niece. And I say Cecily because my VA is called Cecily too, so I kind of think it should inspire other people. So that's a few of them for you, just to give you some ideas. They're loving these explanations. And then with the shades of foundation, <laughs> I go through them. Um, Zandi is a really old friend of mine. We did a little film with Zandi. Um, all of them are women in my life. Flush Blushes, Wigs is my sister. Um, then we've got Schmuggy, which is named after Tanya Breyer. And she's, I've known somebody for, I've known for, God, 35 years. Um, then you've got Electra, which is named after a very cool American woman who's been really supportive of the brand and has become a friend. She's a new friend I've known for about five years. And then you've got Dahlia. No, you've got Dahlia in that one. You've got Schmuggy, you've got Eugenie, you've got Ale uh, Electra. Catherine. Got Catherine. Catherine is named after the most beautiful German woman I know. And she is, she just turned 60. And she really is stunningly beautiful. And she's just a magnificent woman. She's smart, she's sexy, she's kind, she's a great mom, she's a fantastic wife, she's an amazingly knowledgeable woman in her field. And um, yeah, that's Catherine. Paula is saying we need weeks back, dying to have these in my stack. Yes, weeks is coming back, and I'd love to give you the date on it. I know it's on my phone, which unfortunately <laughs> Chloe's holding. But can I just say that Catherine and Maddie are back in stock today. What's back in stock today, today? Maddie? Maddie is back in stock today. So all of you who are missing Lip Glow and Maddie, that's back in stock today. And um, Catherine is back in stock tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, so that's good. Too. They're saying you're looking incredible, glowy, beautiful look. What are you using, Katie, on the eyes? Yeah, so I've used a bit of... Um, if you put down a little bit of BB first, oh. just to shine the, the tone. Just to keep tonality, we yep. love tonality. And yep. then I've actually used Katinka, which was a lip love. So that's on top, so if you just close your eyes, it's got a little bit of um, oh. the glow. And then for definition, I'm using Empress. Yeah, so really smoking it up, because when I do a new, it's an opportunity for me to do a smoke. Yep. Tell me the art of the smoke, Katie, because a lot of women watching, they might have the way they do a smoky eye, which they've done with powders for years. So changing over to cream and doing a smoky eye, you're taking a long time because I'm having photography today, but this literally can be a swoosh. It swoosh. can literally be a swoosh. Um, my favourite new colour for a smoky eye today, yes. I literally would just use a little bit of my finger, close your eyes, and like, like literally chuck You've it You've done that today, Shazam, or not? I've done, I've got this one. You've got this one too. Um, but if you're a bit nervous of a smoking then I would always say um, start closer to your eyelashes. A lot of the time if you're doing a smoky eye, you're looking really like, oh my god, what have you done? So you've got a bit too high too soon. So start off, maybe look down, start off a little bit lower, start a long lashes and then gradually bring it up. So check in the mirror make sure so you can see a bit of the I think the nice thing about using a cream yeah. for a smoky eye over a powder. Yeah is that you're not going to get dropped down, you're not, nothing's going to fall off your face, so it's not You don't scary have to do that aspect. first, and also you don't have to do your eye first, which normally, no, you don't if you're doing that, so you can, how do you work? Exactly, so you, you can make sure you're happy with your face, and then you can take your face. So, Lorraine, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Lorraine is saying, I'm addicted to my black eyeliner, how do I stop? Oh, we've done quite a few befores and afters of women who have come to see us at Phoenix or, or in the Trini London at home who have really done that black eyeliner for a long time and then they wake up in their 40s or 50s and they think, mm, should I still be doing it? Mm. And it's about getting a shade, which is one shade 
lighter. So if you look in your match to me, it might be that you've been given strength or lovers or empress or even universe softly washed out. And to take a tiny little eyeshadow, uh, like an eyebrow brush, and just put it right on your eyelash line and just blend and blend and then do it underneath your eye and just pat it through with your little brush and then keep blending and you'll get that much softer silky eye. And then people are, we do find people who convert over to that method, they let go of their hard black eyeliner brush which is looked after them for so many years but suddenly makes them feel tired. So we've got lots of videos on it. If you look on trinilondon.com and look on the blog, there's quite a few makeup tutorials and you'll find some information there too. Thank you. Then Chloe is asking, what is the best eyeshadow color to make green eyes pop? Depends your hair color, Chloe. You know, if you've got blonde hair and green eyes and peaches and green skin, Fortune is an exquisite color for green eyes. It sits incredibly well. If you are slightly olive with a darker hair color and you have a green eye, I love using strengths. Yeah. You know, blonde, strength. she's blonde. She's blonde, but then I'd say Fortune is so beautiful and so easy to use. And we could swatch it for you in a minute if you want. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, let's do a quick swatch of Fortune to show you. And we could show it with smoking it up with a tiny bit of strength. Because I just think the combination is so pretty. Okay, thank you. So we'll just show that. Yeah, it's going to be creative mess on the yes, table. Yes, creative mess. <laughs> I love this combination actually. So, wow. um, should I do it on my arm? Yeah, do it on your arm. So that's Fortune. So this is Fortune, yeah. this is Strength. <coughs> yeah. So Fortune. Like this. And then if I put a little bit of Strength just right next to it. You can just smoke them up together. You can just smoke them up together, yeah. Can you see that? Is that yeah. picking up on the camera? Yeah. But they look yeah. beautiful Subtle, together. but be very yeah. beautiful. Really it's just the tones, because they're both warm tones, but because this has got the aubergine tone in it, it just really picks out the gold in the fortune, the rose gold. Perfect. Lucy's ordering fortune right now. Okay. Do it. <laughs> you won't regret it. You won't regret it. It's one of our <laughs> best-selling colours. It's actually probably in, you know, there are some shades which are in 30 to 40% of somebody's match to me. And there's other shades like Fortune, which are probably in 70% of people's match to me because it's hardly any skin tone or combination skin hair and eye colour that doesn't suit Fortune. The ones that probably least suit Fortune are people who have absolutely no warmth in their eye, skin, or hair colour. And then they would be better off going towards Magician. That's their kind, that's its sister. Um, magician and Lovers. Strength Fortune would be the combination. Perfect. So you're now ah, smoking up yeah. a little bit more oh, yeah, I'm going to with Empress. With so when the lady was saying about the black eyeliner, this is this tiny brush that Katie's using just to yeah. give yeah. that like look of kind of pencil mm -hmm. a smoky eye without a hard line. Clary saying miracle blur, game changer. Thank you, Trinny. Oh, darling, <laughs> you know what? Also, if any of you didn't get miracle blur the first time round, it comes out again on the 28th of January. We do have 2,000 something people on the mailing, on the wait list, but we have ordered 5,000 units. So if you think you'd like to get it or you want to order a new pot, please put your name on the wait list because we will inform those people first the day before it goes back on general release. Okay, then we have Traveling Photography, Traveling Photographer Live that uh, is asking what is our best selling eye color and are there more colors to come in the spring? Um, I'd say our best selling eye color probably is Wisdom because it's an incredibly good neutral and it doesn't have shimmer it's very clean and then i'd say fortune and empress are very strong mm -hmm. and what was the end of that question if uh, any more colors are coming out in the spring in spring yes we have <laughs> got new things coming out in march four new fantastic shades god you're hearing a lot here today. yeah uh, yeah exactly mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of previews, yeah. yeah uh, pa Pamela has the Miracle Blur and is uh, wondering what's the best way to apply it. I think, I mean, we've run out here, which is tragic, so I can't show you, but I always scrape a bit on my finger, put it on my hand, and then I just fill in like it's a polyfiller. 
and keep filling it in where I've got lip lines or where I've got open pores around here or even some people fill it in on the crow's feet and just keep it filling in and imagine you are in your sitting room filling a crack with polyfiller that's the best way I can describe it to you but it does work unbelievably well and anyone who has that sort of discoloration slightly pebbly chin from acne residue or just you know they feel there's a bumpiness you can put a wash of it over and really pat it in and it just gives this blur really does what it says on the packaging amazing paula uses wisdom every day lovely and neutral she loves it uh, oh okay lorraine is doing a clear out of makeup how old is too old for products do we it think it depends on the um on the product I would say that things like mascara, it depends how you use your mascara because generally the life of mascara to me is six months to a year. But if you're the kind of person who, when you open your mascara, you pump it, you know, to get out the lash, you're putting a lot more oxygen into the vessel and that will actually make the product oxidize <coughs> more and go off quicker. So as soon as you begin to get a smell from your mascara, it's when you should throw it out. And for some people, that's six months. Um, I would say six months if you're a daily mascara user. Um, with things like foundation, I think if you have a liquid foundation, it goes off quicker than a block foundation because it will separate a little bit. And I've had some foundations that I picked up the other day that I haven't used since Trinity London came out that were maybe a year and a half old and they definitely would need to be thrown away. When you have a block foundation, like our Queen Base foundation, I think it can last a lot longer. And even if you have the pot open for a bit, it's something that never ever really dries out. So many people that are foundation safe <laughs> say it lasts for a year. What are you doing? Ready for mascara. Oh, hiding a... Okay, we're just gonna do some mascara now. I'm not gonna yeah. say anything about this product, but just look, I have no lashes on. Um. <laughs> I love Katie's little face when I she, when she hears previews and she was... <laughs> They're loving Shasha dress in the background. Shasha That's dress. another story. Then, so traveling photographer life still is asking, my mom has very deep lines around her lips due to illness. Do you think Miracle Blur will work or is it only for fine lines? You know what? It does help um, with lines in general. And I've had ladies who have had, you know, post-cancer treatment, which can really dry out your skin and having chemo. And it's really softened them. So I would say, yes, it's worth doing. You know, if you have a sort of tenth of a centimetre line, it's not going to get rid of it, but it just softens it. And there's nobody I've put it on who's felt it hasn't made a difference. Perfect. Then we have another question, which is not makeup related, but is eyebrow waxing or threading? I would say for sure threading. I've been a threader for 10 years and I've thoroughed over waxing, so I think I never get an irritation anymore. I don't get ingrown hairs. I think from waxing I do. So, and we have videos online as well as yeah, how you do your yeah, wax, uh, threading. Nish, she's in Moscow Road in Bayswater, and she's great. Amazing! And then someone says, Trini, your makeup is the best I've seen. Amazing! So they're loving this look. Yay! Mm -mm -mm. Uh, someone is saying the bronze and gold are awesome because they make a look without being over the top. Yeah. Agreed. They're just appreciating the makeup at the moment. Yeah. So we haven't done the lips yet, have we? No. Or face finish. So I am very shiny on my forehead because I've done a lot of... Um, I've been testing a lot of products recently, so I have got that real shine there. And we're just going to show you how face finish works because you can use face finish quite strongly or quite subtly and I think like on my forehead do you see how shiny that is and for doing photography now and filming it's not going to be that shiny so Katie's going to really go in and if you want if you don't have spots and you're doing coverage I actually prefer using a brush with face finish as well you pick up a bit more product yeah um, you can really push it in and get the as well. but you can see close up um, how much that just takes away the really shiny shine, but leaves me with a little gentle glow. So you never want people to look so mad that they begin to look tired or drained. So, Clima is asking, will you be bringing out a skincare range? Um, 
you never know what's going to be happening in the next <laughs> Good answer. And then someone else, uh, what is she using? What are you using now, Katie? Uh, face finish. Face finish. That's okay. So, yeah. yeah, then we have Cookie Crumbles saying, watching with horrid throat before Christmas. Trini said, uh, before Christmas, Trini said she uses some kind of potion she drinks. I need it. What was it, please? Loving watching these two. Potion for what? For sore throat. Ah, oh, elderberry tincture. Unbelievable elderberry tincture. And I think I did a post on it, um, ill to well. It's going to be, I'll tell you what it is, if you look back on my Instagram before Christmas, I'm glugging a bottle and that's it. And you can get the link. I got it from Victoria Health. Brilliant. I mean, literally, there's in it, there's time to take away bacterial infection. There's something to soothe your, your throat. It's, it was a miracle. I had two bottles in three days and it literally took away my, um, my chest. Uh, I, I would have nearly hypochondriacally said it was just infection. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Then, what is the product uh, to help with the shine on the forehead? That's face finish. Face finish. Face finish. It just absorbs excess oil on your face. It's not something that will work as strong as a powder. It has powdery elements in it, but it just takes away excess shine. Uh, Lorraine is saying you should do a Trini London face mask. Oh, just an really? idea. Mm. <laughs> And then they love the blazer. Where's it from? Do we know? Shasha, where's your blazer from? Um, Cos. No, 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 other oh. stories. Other stories. Shasha provided most of the wardrobe today for the shoot because these are very good colours on Shasha too. Um, and uh, yeah, they love it. Mm -hmm. They're asking again for the dates for the new lip to cheek to come out. 14th of January. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, can we just remind the colours that Katie used on your eyes? Yeah. So we, I actually got a tiny bit of BB on the eyes. And then One sec. We've got yeah. um, Tinker, which is a bit low. Um, Thank you. So then, mm. And um, I just, this is, now we're putting BB on my lip. We have it on my cheek. You can Pretty. use these on their own, or you could use them with something on top. So, depending, if you want to accentuate this colour, you could use a dash of liner on the top. You could use lip treat. I think today I'll just use some lip treat on the top because I want to keep the exact colour of the product. But it's a phenomenal base. It's got great staying power on lip to cheek. It's a matte finish, which our lip lux aren't. Our lip lux are a slightly shiny finish. And I think it's a long time coming that we had a nice nude, which isn't shiny. Let's do a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, they wanted to start with the music okay. more. All right, so we're going to go. And lovely hanging out with you ladies. I thought I was going on to Trini, but also it's so nice to go to London because then I can talk in time in <laughs> London. And I know the audience aren't thinking, you can talk about lots of things, please. Um, so have a lovely day and catch up on stories, a few more little sneak previews of what we're doing. Bye. Thanks, Katie.